Okay, welcome to the uh, Synopia, uh, or sorry, the uh, LD4P uh, Sprint 9 demo. Um, I will be starting off and then handing off to Jeremy. Um, I will be demoing some auto-generated code and the tests that we're filling in uh, for the JavaScript client for the Synopia server, uh, which is mostly Trellis and then some to be determined additions from us. Uh, and I will show, uh, sorry, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, then I will show a pull request that gets the basics of those integration tests uh, running in a passing circle CI build. Um, so we are using Swagger code gen uh, per these instructions in the Snopia server readme uh, so that we can use a specific version that still supports JavaScript, uh, which got taken out at least temporarily from the current version of Swagger Code Gen. Um, you can see this is the Swagger Code Gen uh, central GitHub. Um, that code uh, uh, is being used in this pull request, uh, which I won't scroll through all of. You can see some of the documentation that Swagger Code Gen generates in markdown format. Um, but uh, basically, we're using that to write integration tests against the server. It generates a bunch of test stubs uh, for the uh, API methods it creates, uh, and then we'll fill those in. And uh, based on our Swagger spec, we can determine uh, what Trellis doesn't have that we do want, and then we can uh, implement that on the server side. Uh, you can see here that we are spinning up Trellis uh, in a Docker container uh, in Circle. Um, we're using a machine executor, uh, and uh, then once we wait for it to come up and start responding, uh, we run the Mocha tests against it, and here they're all passing at the bottom. Uh, the only one that's really implemented for now uh, is the health check, um, but we'll get to the rest shortly. Um, and I will hand it over to Jeremy with that. So what I'm just going to show you is just briefly some uh, uh, RDF that's being generated from a re based on a resource template form. So here is sort of our, our base monograph instance that we've been developing on. Um, so for example, here in the literal, I can put, uh, you know, Stanford as a statement of responsibility. So that's now a literal. Uh, the the list are these are pre-filled. I can also add in an additional um, sort of the, the pop-up. So now uh, what will happen when I hit this new preview RDF button is that it'll go through all those um, uh, fields that have values. So here's the here's the the, the the short little snippet of RDF that's being generated. So we can see right here the N3-0, that's just a, a turtle placeholder for a blank node. Uh, this blank node is being assigned a class of BF instance, which comes from the resource template. We can see here the triple for the BF responsibility statement is associated with that literal Stanford that you saw me type in. And then the issuance, uh, you, I added in the, the, the two. These are being pulled in, and this is where the linked part and linked data comes out, where these are actually linking out to the Library of Congress vocabulary uh, URIs. And then the carrier as well had a default value. So that's where we're starting, and from this small uh, uh, start is where we're going to eventually end up and generate wonderful, great BibFrame linked data. So thanks. And I believe that concludes demo nine uh, for the LinkedIn project. Join us next time.